so we're ready to start day seven. Basically, <laughs> we've just had breakfast and we came back to the B&B bedroom and we just conked out on the bed and we just fell asleep and now it's 11 o'clock so we're actually going to get up today we're currently at Furnace at the Powder Mills B&B we're going to get up we're going to go to the viaduct where Harry Potter was filmed my sister's a big Harry Potter fan so I'll take a load of pictures for her and then I think we're going to go and do the roads of like Glencoe and Oban and then just circle it back and we've actually we like it here so much it's just so serene and peaceful absolutely stunning that we've um, requested another night here and they've said yes so we'll just be having another night um back here so a chill day do what we want go around glencoe etc and then yeah we'll come back and um then tomorrow morning it's just the drive or the ride sorry straight back down south all the way to sunny manchester and we'll take it from there but yeah that's the day mike <sighs> joys of keyless back in we go i forgot the keyless key Imagine. Duh. What an idiot. warm today I think I've made an error keeping my thermals in but we'll see when we're actually on the move and riding <laughs> got it, Did you get it? <laughs> yeah Go. First gear would help, Kate. Go. Oh, what a sunny day, nineteen degrees. Yeah, boy. I really hope you guys can put up with a busted lens. So gutted about that. It's so easily done. I was riding around the other day and a stone flicked up and hit me in my collarbone and it was so painful. And it hit it with some force. See, it's like my helmet's getting pelted. And this isn't a shaley road, but it's flicking stones up like it's no tomorrow. Ha oh, ha. Oh. Views on views on views. Right, let's swap it into sat nav mode by holding the up button on the menu, and then that means I can 
zoom in so he's taking us all around this little lock and then we're going to go to that viaduct which is about three hours away and we're going to get there through the nice twisty roads of Oban but yeah we're all fed and watered we had a mighty fine breakfast tell you what powder mills is just gorgeous it's next level it's one of the best B&B's I've ever stayed in I mean what kind of B&B makes you as soon as you lie down on the bed you have like a two hour nap because it's that comfy and you're just that chilled out the amount of stones just from this road that he kicked up doesn't even look like an offending road oh this will be why Yeah man, even on that road, it even on that road it was firing all stones at me. What? Firing all the stones at me. I think it gives it clearing time, doesn't it, for all the traffic? Hello darkness, my old friend. in Scotland it accounts for like 30 extra cars slipping through in England it's like oh you, you pushed a cheeky amber did you boom oncoming traffic <laughs> oh squirrel tulip gone pretty sure that's where it just said yeah Around, baby. The beautiful thing about the roads in Scotland is you can stick to your 60 mile an hour but you literally don't let off so you feel like you're going really fast but you're not really breaking any limits. So this is the A83 I'm happy to report that of my 7 days I've only had work related anxiety struggling to sleep for 2 of them which is a result, trust me It's hard having to let everything go when your job is to try and be on top of everything all the time you know what, I don't regret leaving my thermal liner in whilst we're on the move. I'm just a real neutral temperature. I'm just enjoying the wind in my hair. Life is good. Now going through Loch Gare. And we're heading up to Middle Cames. That is the next town on the map. Oh, she does get a fair bit heavier with a full tank. I can't lie. Safe to go. Okay, so it's saying open is to the right. So I'm assuming that's where Mike is leading us. Yes. Bumpy. Auburn, 38 miles away, A816. I have to say, Scotland have some of the most beautiful flowing roads that I've ever encountered, but they don't quite have the surface that the roads in Europe do. Like, the, the surface, 
some of the roads have been quite rough to be honest. Don't get me wrong, plenty grippy. Just you know about it when your bank's over going around a bend, you're like, Ugh. But I can't complain too much because the, the roads are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Whenever you see that sign that means twisty bends, the camera comes out. that we live for. because we're going to need all the GS power in the world to overtake these beasts. Oh, look at that. Perfect. on a bend. <laughs> yeah, you can see that it's clear. Oh, there's bikers. We ruined our overtake. Good 
switch up my switched arm. Switched on Michelangelo. Another mannequin police officer. Those roads are bonkers! Those roads are bonkers! Those roads are bonkers! These roads look good on the on the way to Oban now. Ooh. 
Oh boy. They were good roads then. Um. They were good roads. It's just horrible in it on the right anders when you get into a flow and then something comes around you're like what? <laughs> Yeah, it's good, yeah. Am I going quick enough? It's not bloody TT, Mike. Christ almighty, how fast would you like to go to the moon? Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Hopefully I don't have to stop because I am stood up. <laughs> Keep it rolling Easy peasy Lemon squeezy Patisserie A coffee shop Ah, so we are in Auburn right now we're in the lovely town of Oban, yes we are, yes we are. We're in the lovely town of Oban, yes we are, yes we are. Oh, there's some good smells in the air. Keeping it rolling, keep it rolling. It's bustly here. I've been said that, I've lost all concept of time. I don't really know what day we're on. Is it a weekend? Oh, look at that thing. It's like a moped. Oh my God, moped. That just brought back some horrendous flashbacks. 
I've just remembered that that was literally my nickname in primary school. My mum used to give me the most shaggy fringe ever. I couldn't ever see because I had a shaggy fringe. So yeah, moped. Aren't children pleasant? Well, I thought we'd be stopping for a tea and coffee or a tea and cake there, but Mike's just teasing me again. And look at that monumental structure in front. It's like a bridge. They like the funky bridges. The Oyster Inn, eat, sleep, drink. That's pretty cool. 